this is going to be a pain for you to cut up and re, re Austin upload. Walker. Austin Walker, what was the image? That's me. What was the image? <laughs> well, I, well, the thing is, you have to re restate the question, I think, oh, at this okay. point. Right, okay. Uh, uh, part A of the question. Was there a specific moment where everything started to fall into place and you had a specific image, or was it a much more gradual thing through the thing? And then part B, if part A is true, what was the image? I think it's two It's two things. One is the moment when I realized I wanted to ha be an embodied character with a history. Yeah. Um, and reference her breakup or whatever with, with Siobhan. Um, and that was early. That was based on a writing prompt, I think, that used the personal, a personal pronoun yeah. um, or, or gestured towards some sort of past. Um, and then, but the big one, I think when everything came together for me, when I knew that what I wanted to write about was this idea of technique, which is a, which is a Jacques Ellul, uh, term. I mean, technique obviously means a bunch of things and a bunch of people have written about what technique yeah. is, but, but I'm thinking about Ellul here, um, was, I, th I think it was the place where you had the queue set up. The, the line mm -hmm. um, where you had that the line of the theme park, the, your big th theme park building. That for me was the was the space was the one that was clearly made by human hands, yeah. um, and that they'd been evicted from. And I think that the idea of being evicted is when everything kind of came into into mind for me. What, what it was it was why don't these buildings have doors? <laughs> yeah, what build absolutely. why? Who took the doors from these buildings? And, you know, obviously I'd already been writing about industry and stuff. Mm. Um, but but that's when it came together. Like okay, this is the narrative of these people. It was one of the most striking images in the in the in the world design. I thought that building mm -hmm. was was one of the most striking images. Yeah, um, definitely. So depending on whether or not, hopefully tomorrow my my kind of my general connection will have improved enough that I can run this I hope without so. breaking every so often. Um, mm -hmm. Because when I tested it with Eidolon, it, it worked beautifully. And when I tested it with Heavy Bullets, it worked beautifully. So my, right. my suspicion is Mac Yosemite was released today. And I reckon all across the world, uh, people are downloading, sure. are downloading Yosemite. Sure. Um, including my flatmates. But, um, <laughs> so if that all goes well, and if plans fall out fine, um, there might hopefully be some pretty cool writers coming on and doing the other two worlds in two further streams, but I don't want to make any promises or name any names because that might not happen. Right. I, that's smart. Can I just say that I it, it flatters me to, to hear you say, like, oh, other writers? It's very... like I do a lot of writing. I, I, I probably sound like Keith in this moment, but I don't... I haven't <laughs> often thought of myself as a writer. Do you know you what I mean? Absolutely. I, I appreciate it. And it's, this has been one of my favorite streams in a while. It's been really nice to, yeah, to sort really of be actively doing, doing something yeah. on the stream as well. Me just talk, too. Talk about the game. Me too. Who are you? Uh, I'm Austin Walker. You can find me at Austin underscore Walker on Twitter, uh, the Calcutech here on Twitch, clockworkworlds.com for my writing. Uh, most of it is about games. Um, the, the, the biggest two things I would point you to in terms of recent writing I've done are both at Paste. You can find those at pastemagazine.com slash games. One of them is called Real Human Beings. It's about NPCs uh, in the game Shadow of Mordor and Watch Dogs. Uh, it's also about race and death and the limits of, of AAA kind of game design. And the other is a review of Darius Kazemi's wonderful Jagged Alliance 2 book that came out on, I forget the name of the, that, that book imprint, but they've been releasing, and Anthropy released ZZT recently on that imprint. There was just a Super Mario Brothers 2 book released on that imprint. Um, and I did a book review of that, uh, and like everything else I write, it ends up falling apart into a discussion of something else. In this case, the way that Darius thinks about logistics, the logistics of game development, and the logistics of strategy games. Um, so, I so ch I read that yet. please check that out. I'm going to relink it. I'll relink it tonight um, on on Twitter too. So yeah, those are that's what I've been up to. Oh, and new episode of if you like this, if you like the sort of conversation that we, we've been having here, um, you've probably heard us talk in the past about friends on the table. Friends on the table. Uh, friends friends on the at table. the table. <laughs>
That's a different friends podcast. At, that's a different podcast. Listen, we'll talk about the friends on the table later. For now, I want to talk about friends at the table, uh, which is a podcast that Jack uh, joins me on. Jack also does the entry music for friends at the table. It's wonderful. Um, and it is a collaborative RPG actual play podcast. And actual play is like a let's play for, for tabletop games. Um, and we are we just started the second like adventure of our Dungeon World campaign. And if you like this sort of collaborative storytelling that happened here tonight, go back and listen and, to and also I the think the first sort of, of those and, and work through it. Also, I think that uh, the themes that we tend to work through, Austin as a GM and me as a player, there's lots of there's lots of interesting <laughs> mundanity <laughs> in weirdo fantasy spaces and things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we t- we try to take something that's like we try to address the kind of traditional token Tolkien fantasy and subvert it without undoing it entirely, um, which is to say, or I, I don't know, I think we try to undo it entirely, but we're undoing <laughs> it. We're not ign- we're not ignoring it. Do you know what I mean? We're not yeah. saying yeah, exactly. like, this was know. never that way. We're engaging with it and trying to work through what we want to salvage from it. Mm-hmm. So that's at friendsatthetable.net. Um, they also go up on streamfriends.tv, which is where you can find all of our archives. Uh, but that isn't up yet today. So just go to friendsofthetable.net to listen. Uh, I'd really appreciate it if you give it a shot. Me too. My name is Jack DeKeat. You can find me on Twitch and Twitter at NotQuiteReal. Um, and at my game studio's website, the, oh god, my guitar nearly just fell over. <laughs> <laughs> That's a strange name for a game studio. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, and also, uh, aside from uh, my guitar fell over, at the thetooltreesgames.co.uk, uh, you can play... Uh, the most recent game that I made outside of the trees at tinyurl.com forward slash Robert Ells. Um, uh, we've been the stream friends. Things are about to get real spooky around here. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again for the devs who showed up. Uh, besides yeah. besides the one who we were talking to before, Super Zeba was here, and uh, they were the lead dev. So thank you again for making this thing that we very much enjoy. We're very excited for, for the full release. Have a lovely evening, everybody, and we will see you in... A short while. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, internet. <laughs>